There was a provision buried in the terrible budget bill that we've been lambasting for the past few days that's actually very positive. Quote, the U.S. House of Representatives approved a measure late Thursday night to defund the federal war on medical marijuana. The provision passed the Senate Saturday and is expected to be signed by President Obama, bringing a halt to the three-year-long Medipot crackdown in California and other states. So the Department of Justice is now mandated by federal law to back off of medical marijuana dispensaries. So this is great news, but there is an asterisk in the conversation because it's a temporary provision that lasts until September 30th. So who knows what's going to happen from there. We can only guess. I love the fact that this provision is there. It's certainly a step in the right direction. But it's also certainly possible that once uh, the provision ends, there will not be a re-up of that provision. Because the article made clear that there's infighting in the government on this. So you have the DEA and other agencies that make all their money because drugs are illegal fighting tooth and nail in every respect to not change a single thing about drug law in America, from the ridiculous Schedule One categorization of marijuana, which is absurd, uh, to the different drug laws that exist, which basically make it so that you can get locked up for any reason involving drugs, even if you're a non-violent criminal, which that's not even really a thing. So they're fighting because they know that if we go down the road, which it looks like the country wants to go down, 59% want to legalize weed, what's going to happen? They're all going to be out of a job. So they look at this as a direct attack on their livelihood, because it is. It's a direct attack on how they make their money. But if we have a system set up where some people make money by uh, persecuting and throwing other people in jail for no goddamn reason, well, I don't give a fuck if you lose your job. Find another profession. Preferably one where you don't ruin people's lives. So the DEA and other government agencies are fighting to try to uh, continue to go after everybody, medical marijuana users, legalized marijuana users in Colorado and Washington and elsewhere. Uh, and you also have naturally they're kind of aligned with pharmaceutical companies and alcohol companies and tobacco companies. What's so amazing is that they are also against marijuana, and they are against other uh, forms of illegal drugs. And the reason is that they view marijuana as their competition. You have alcohol companies, tobacco companies, pharmaceutical companies who go, no, 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 we might not make uh, as many sales. They might not sell as much Corona. They might not sell as many packs of Marlboros. They might not sell as much Xanax if marijuana is a thing, but my and legalized. But my response to them is, why the fuck don't you get in on the game? Why don't you get ahead of everybody? Why are you, if you're Budweiser, for example, not fighting to become the Budweiser of marijuana also? Bud. Wiser. See what I'm saying? See what I did there? They should try to get ahead of everybody. They should try to make money off this as well. It's inevitable. The overwhelming majority opinion can only be fought off for so long. So I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen that more states are going to fall, as we're seeing all the time. But also on a federal level, it's going to be decriminalized and then it will be legalized. So you can stand in the way, but you're fighting a losing battle. This is the first domino to fall in this war here. The first domino to fall is when they say, don't you dare touch these medical marijuana centers at all. You're not allowed to anymore. That's a big deal. Again, it's temporary, but it's a big deal. Because also, let's face the reality. Sure, many people use medical marijuana legit, and of course they should be able to do that, no doubt. But a lot of people who go to medical marijuana dispensaries, they go because they just want weed and they have an ailment that they went to a doctor for. So it's like pseudo-semi-legalized weed. And that's good. That's fine. I like that. I wish it was totally legal. That's better than uh, having it totally banned. And for the government to say, look, hands off that at least for a little bit, definitely a step in the right direction. I just can't wait for us to go further in that direction.